No, Molly. And the truth sounds like hate to people that don't want to hear the truth. And I think this, I think this about Matthew Stafford. He's still writing that book. He still has time to continue to write his Hall of Fame book. But right now, no. Like when you look at, and, and I look, being required to talk about the Hall of Fame as a player, I ain't in that tier, but I know what I see. And I know what type of guys are in the Hall of Fame. And all of those guys have been all pros, most of them. All of those guys have been multiple-time pro bowlers. All of those guys at some point in the league, to Richard Sherman's point, has, has, has been in our minds as the best, as the guy that we look to during any given NFL season and says nobody is on that level. He's doing it at a very high level. Yes, Matthew Stafford is thrown for a lot of yards. He's played 13 years. He played with Calvin Johnson. Most quarterbacks with any post could throw for a lot of yards with Calvin Johnson. That's not to absolve. I mean, that's not to discredit things that Matthew Stafford has done. Is he phenomenal? Is he, a, is as a former player playing against Matthew Stafford, did you have to pay crazy attention to him? Absolutely. Can he make all the throws? Yes. One of the Super Bowl throws, the no look, that's one of the best throws I've seen in a game in a Super Bowl. Yes. So Matthew Stafford has a lot of great things. And I hate to be debating this after the man just came off of a Super Bowl. But when I think about Hall of Fame, you think about names like Deion Sanders and Troy Aikman and Dan Marino and John Elway and Drew Brees and Peyton Manning and obviously Tom is going to get in and all of these great guys, Roger Starback. Like you think about all of these guys that's in the Hall of Fame and then you think about Matthew Stafford and you got to ask yourself, how does he stack up against the guys that that it has been a prerequisite for to get into Canton as, as, as much as they've accomplished the things that they have attached to their names as individual awards. I just can't find that right now with Matthew Stafford. Well, it's interesting that you say that, man. And I, and I get where you're coming from. And I want to say this. I'm open to being corrected on this because I'm going to be serious because the man just won a Super Bowl championship and I can understand the sensitivity yeah. that comes along with it. That's your sensitivity. My sensitivity is, is not only love for you, you know I got love for my brother Richard Sherman now. You know I consider that a brilliant brother who will be in the Hall of Fame someday himself as far as I'm concerned and, and, and as far as I'm concerned is a treasure in this league because of some of the things that he's been able to do. Richard Sherman, I hope you watch it. I don't disagree with one word he said in his quote in terms of the question marks about Matthew Stafford. My point is, you're absolutely right. The bar has been lowered. That's why I said he's a Hall of Famer. Uh, I didn't say Matthew Stafford's a Hall of Famer because I'm running around with pom-poms like I'm Dan Orlovsky. You understand what I'm saying? Waving pom-poms <laughs> about to treat him out to dinner. He don't want to spend crying, money. Crying, jumping in his arms. That's right, jumping in his arms and stuff. Dan Orlovsky don't want to pay money for his wife and him to be in first class. Oh, leave Dan have, alone. Oh, I'm not letting him go there. You put the wife <laughs> Get in first him. class. No, don't let him go. Yep. Get I'm him. Not, you you, you do him. that. You Get Dan Orlovsky, you cheat, yes. you, you cheat skate. What's wrong with you? What is wrong with you? Exceptional NFL analyst. We are happy and proud to have him as a part of the family. I mean, the only thing better than Dan Orlovsky on NFL Live, outside from me, the Laura Rutledge and Swagoo, is big man bowling. Okay, that's big man bowling. That's it. Nothing beats big man bowling, okay? You got to watch that. BMB. We, we understand that, okay? But Dan Orlovsky is the truth. And all of this stuff he succeeded, he's going to be cheap and don't want to take his wife for first class. He should be ashamed of himself. A shame, Dan Olasky. A shame. Now let me get back to Swagoo. You should be ashamed, Dio. When we, when we talk about the bar being lowered, Richard Sherman is right. You know what our proof is, theoretically speaking, or at least, you know, from a prognosticating standpoint? Isn't everyone mm -hmm. talking about Eli Manning being a Hall of Famer? I know he's yeah. a two-time Super Bowl champion. Stay with me. Stay with me. I know this hurts, Molly. It I know doesn't this hurts. hurt. It's wrong. Eli Manning is 117 and 117 as a quarterback for the New York Giants. We know what a horrid organization the Detroit Lions have been. I mean, my God. You, you, who, who was the coach? Who was the coach uh, from Sandy? I mean, that, that, that forced Barry Sanders to walk away. Bobby Ross. I mean, Bob, they sat up there Bobby and let Ross. Bobby Ross alienate Barry Sanders. I mean, how okay. stupid can you be? No wonder they haven't won a damn playoff game since 1991. Okay. Keep going. In 1991. These are Detroit Lions. Yeah. So, 
Eli Manning, we love Eli, class personified. He's a Manning. We know he's going to go in the Hall of Fame. But the question is, when you think about the Hall of Famers who are there, he was 117 and 117. Okay? He doesn't even have a two touchdown to turnover to interception, two to one turnover to um, touchdown to interception ratio. Okay? You look at them. Mm -hmm. I'm looking at the New York Giants with Eli Manning there because he's just been gone a couple of years. Okay? We talking about six times in seven years they missed the playoffs, nine times in 11 years, whatever the number. Tell I mean, me they, when I'm allowed missed, to speak. They missed the playoffs, right? We talking about all of that. All right? We talking about all of that. And we also talking about how he led the league in interceptions three times. Okay. And he was never once considered to be anything close okay. to the best quarterback in football. Mark, so if we're going to okay. do that, right. and that guy's in the Hall of Fame with the two Super Bowls, how come Matthew Stafford, who was universally recognized as an elite quarterback, but just saddled with being a Detroit Lion, his first year apart from that organization, okay. he wins the Super Bowl championship, could have easily been the MVP since Cooper Cup got it, could have easily went to okay. him. How do we ignore that? Okay, let me just say it? this really quickly. First of all, I'm not going to hate on Detroit, and I'm not going to hate on Matthew Stafford, but I'm not going to put Matthew Stafford in the same sentence as Eli Manning when we're talking Hall of Fame. And a lot of people don't believe Eli Manning is a Hall of Famer because Matthew Stafford has no MVPs, okay? So Eli Manning has two Super Bowl MVPs. He has two Super Bowl titles. Stephen A, knocking off Tom Brady in the Patriots, the best ever. He's top 10 in NFL history in pass yards, pass TDs, completions, and attempts. Their resumes you talk about resume. Don't tell me SA. Matthew Stafford's resume is the same as Eli Manning. I'm saying to you, listen to me good. 17 to 14, okay. 21 to 7. Well, excuse me, I'm answering the question. You don't want me to answer the question? Well, it's not really. Oh, you don't you want me to answer the question? regular season uh, 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 numbers. I'm, 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 I'm talking I'm, you, about when it counts. You, you gave me your fact. I'm sorry, I just brought up the Super Bowl. That don't count? I'm bringing up the Super Bowl. 17 to 14, 21 to 17. The Giants' defense swarmed Tom Brady. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.